Wallace McDowell is widely recognized as one of the early architects of modern electrical engineering. He worked at IBM for nearly 40 years, guiding the industry's evolution from electromechanical to solid-state technology. Recipients of the W. Wallace McDowell Award have themselves advanced theory, design, or education. Receiving a bronze medal and a $2,000 honorarium, award recipients are recognized for making innovative contributions that fall within the Computer Society's field of interest. Hanan Samet is a distinguished professor of computer science at the University of Maryland College Park and is a member of the Institute for Computer Studies. Dr. Samet is a leading authority in multidimensional spatial structures. At the Center for Automation Research, he is a contributing member of the Computer Vision Laboratory where he leads a number of research projects. His work focuses on the use of hierarchical data structures for database applications, geographic information systems, computer vision, image processing, games, and robotics. Dr. Samet has also made several contributions to the field of computer science through a series of important publications, including Applications of Spatial Data Structures and Design and Analysis of Spatial Data Structures, both published in 1990. More recently, he published the award-winning book, Foundations of Multidimensional and Metric Data Structures. His doctoral dissertation, which addressed proving the correctness of translations of LISP programs, was the first work in translation validation and the related concept of proof-carrying code. For making fundamental contributions to the development of multidimensional spatial data structures and its related studies, we recognize the work of Hanan Samet with the 2014 W. Wallace McDowell Award. Dr. Samit was awarded the 2011 Paris Kanalakis Theory and Practice Award, which honors specific theoretical accomplishments that have had a significant effect on the practice of computing. In 2009, he was named an ETS Walton Fellow by the Science Foundation of Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Hanan Samit. Okay, um, it's a great pleasure and really honor to receive the McDowell Award from the IEEE Computer Society. It's indeed a humbling experience when I think about all the great people who preceded me in getting this award. I certainly had no inkling that this is, would be my fate when I joined the IEEE 45 years ago. You won't believe that. And I was actually an undergrad student at that time at UCLA where he worked on the first node of the ARPANET project. Um, it's particularly gratifying as I often reflect on my training as an engineer and my misgivings at not having pursued a mathematics major as an undergrad. However, my engineering training imbued me with an outlook that is more of a can-do. And this, which meant, that it led me to rely heavily on intuition. Now, the engineering background also let me never to lose sight of the goal of making something work rather than worrying about the impossibility of my task. And the result is that when I reflect over my career, I seem to have solved problems that were deemed unsolvable to, be, to solve, the, often as a direct consequence of my insufficient uh, mathematics training. And my, you know, it's true. So basically, I th nobody told me they couldn't be solved. So I figured you gotta do it. And that's what I did. And so the examples of this are the work on translation validation, which I was just way too early on, namely 30 years, and the same thing for the uniform word problem, which I did in the early 1970s. Actually, I just found a copy of the paper. At Stanford, they re-resurrected the, all the disk files of people you know, who were at the Stanford AI lab, so you can actually find all your mails and everything from 40 years ago. Can you believe that? Pretty amazing. This is done by Bruce Baumgart. Anybody heard of him? He's quite a, 
I'll leave that for another time, but he's an inventor of solid modeling, just people don't know it. Um, anyway, at this point, some thank yous are in order. First of all, I want to thank my parents, Julius and Lottie Samet. Believe it or not, in 1958, my father had a premonition of computers being the future. So he bought me a book called The First Book on Computers, which I never read. You know, it's one of those books that just sat, it's still there, you know. Um, this hasn't tempted me to read it. Um, anyway, so also I want to thank, I have an uncle, Zave Berlinger, who was a scientist, and he imbued me with the spirit of making my work be my hobby. And I can't forget that. Um, then there were Hanan Potash, Howard Okrent, the late Robert Ugalis, and Gerald Estrin, with whom I worked at UCLA. Plus, also, I want to thank you know, Dick Muntz, who, was, who I work with during those times, for being a great role model and a, a mentor and a friend. Um, there was also my thesis advisor, Vince, Vince Cerf, who listened to me when nobody else would. And you know, he actually had to endure my tiny handwriting. Um, there was Gary Knott, who set me on the problem of how to delete uh, in a point quad tree, and which wasn't possible to do efficiently due to the inability to sort in more than one dimension. But I didn't know this, so I tried it anyway and led me to a solution that makes use of what's known today as a splay operation. Again, as I said, I did these things because I didn't know that you couldn't do them, and now they sort of come like chickens coming home to roost. Um, Azra Rosenfeld, who got me to work on quadries for images and taught me a lot about scholarship. I'm forever indebted to him. I had no idea what he was talking about when he confronted me with this problem about quad trees. And the, the reason was that when I saw a tree, what do you do with a tree? I mean, if you're not a dog, okay? You traverse it, okay? And that's what I did. But nobody had this thought of doing this before. There was also Marco Taminen and Gisli Yaltesen, really close colleagues of mine who I worked very closely for many years, who both died tragically. Jim Gray, who was a great fan of my first books, who decided that Morgan Kaufman will publish my most recent award-winning book in his series, regardless of what I thought. In other words, he took my book, said, You're, I'm publishing it, and if you knew Jim Gray, you couldn't argue much with him. So that was it, and I also want to thank Diane Chera of Morgan Kaufman, who produced this really beautiful book. If you saw the book with the Egyptian hieroglyphics on it in the film, that was pretty nice. Also, I want to thank all the wonderful students I've had over my 37 years at, at Maryland, especially people, friends like Walid Arif and Jagan Sankaranarayanan, with whom I work still together. Finally, last but not least, my wife, Leila De Floriani, whom I've known for 30 plus years and been a great colleague. She couldn't make it today. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.